I'm making this Tandy Color Computer EEPROM cartridge board with today's sponsor PCBWay because I recently received a Color Computer 1 and 2 and they have a cartridge slot on the side as one way to run programs and since I have a bunch of EEPROMs I thought I would try this out as a project. I found that PCB already designed from 2013 on this blog released under a GPLv3 license, and the design files and a schematic are available to look at, and the assembled boards have three jumpers depending what kind of EEPROM you use, and also depending if you're using the very smallest 2732 EEPROM all the way up to the maximum 27512, you'll need to install one socket or the other on the module and set the jumpers accordingly. Looking at the schematic, there's not much to it. This is the card edge connector, so the address and data bus just get connected to both of these EEPROM dip sockets on the board. So whichever size chip you populate, the address and data for the EEPROM will be connected to the color computer, along with any of the other signals needed to make things work. So there's JP1, 2, and 3 jumpers. JP1 is just auto start, normally installed. So then, depending which size of an EEPROM we have installed, we just set these other two jumpers as listed here. I'm using a 16K EEPROM, so I've got both of these jumpers set to position 1, meaning across pins 1 and 2. So when this cartridge gets plugged into the color computer and it's powered on, it will start executing whatever program is stored in it. Then I found this other website. Someone else made this 3D printable cartridge shell. So everything is detailed here. They used that same cartridge PCB, so I printed this out myself and found it does fit. So thanks to the designer of this shell as well as the PCB. To program the EEPROM, I used one of these T48 TL866 3G programmers, which are universal programmers. I got mine on AliExpress, and apparently it supports tens of thousands of devices. And when you're ready to do the programming, once you have obtained a ROM image file for a cartridge, which may be from a backup cartridge that you already own, that you want to preserve, etc., or it could even be software you wrote and want to now dump into an EEPROM. I ran the Windows programmer software from the manufacturer, and I searched in the device list until I found the manufacturer and EEPROM part number that I'm using. I did a check to see if the device is blank and actually see if I can communicate with it, and the device was blank, which is good because I currently don't have a UV EEPROM eraser, so I had to start with a blank chip. Then I loaded in the ROM image file that I wanted to put into the cartridge, and I chose the format to be binary, and started the programming process. It didn't take very long, and it said it was done programming, so I verified and it confirmed it was successful. So I put the EEPROM on the cartridge PCB, then I put it in the 3D printed enclosure, inserted it into the COCO cartridge slot on the COCO 2, and it powered up and successfully ran the program on the cartridge. Never mind. <laughs>